One of the things that Dr. Weingroff talked about a lot is that you'll see people try and hinge and they pitch forward like this rather than sitting back. One of the easiest ways to facilitate them sitting back is to rob the front of the foot of contact. Now, Pavel, when I first started learning the kettlebell swing with him, goes, oh, Doc, you look very uh, cute. And he said that with a, like a kind of disgust in his voice with how I was swinging. Because as I was swinging the bell, I was kind of doing a little bit of this. See how my heels are coming up? To try and get the bell to go up further. He goes, we will cure that. So he took me to a curb and had me stand so that the balls of my feet were off the curb. There are cars coming by and shit. He goes, swing the bell. Just try to stay out of traffic. Now, if you don't have the option of shifting forward, you very quickly learn how to shift back and sit back and translate those hips back. So for argument's sake, let's do this. I'm gonna have you guys come and, and put just the balls of your feet off the edge of the, of the railing here so that you can feel where the turf is, but I'd like you to keep your toes up off the turf. And then put your butt backwards. And you'll notice that you load your hips and your hamstrings in a whole new way. Okay, just give that a try. Have your partner observe you hinge one time, feet flat on the mat, and do the same thing with the balls of your feet just forward of the edge and not letting your toes really grip the ground, toes up, and really just kind of have to hinge back again and try and see how your body responds. Good, and let the knees be soft, let them unlock. How many of you guys notice that with your partners, do you notice them shifting back or really sitting back further with the hips, really hinging back further with the hips after they got a chance to be on the, on the, on the edge? How many had that? So the majority of you, that's great. Again, robbing the forefoot of the option to translate the weight forward, you got a sense of how much you can sit back with the hips. That's great.